Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We're gonna chat about the new makeup that's been released and announced and sneak peeked and I am gonna let you know how I feel about them. And there's some really good things, honestly. There's some really good things. Also, this is episode number 300. Is that not super crazy? Do you understand how many years I've been doing this? Either on Fridays, either on Sundays. If you've been here for a long time, you remember I used to do these on Sundays. So we're gonna have a giveaway as well and we're gonna have that towards the end of the video. 300! But before we get into the makeup news and before we get into the giveaway, I do have a sponsor on today's video, so let's roll that. I'm super excited because today's video is sponsored by Halara. You know I love Halara. They make amazing, comfortable, like at leisure wear, where you can wear it both at home, cozy at home. You also can wear it out and about, really smart casual items. And also of course to the gym, just out walking, any kind of athletic things that you have going on. I'm here to show you a little bit of a spring, or well, soon in spring, fashion try on, showing you some of their most viral pants, seeing how I style them. First I wanted to let you know, I got another one of these leggings, the padded off technology, the one that easily you can get like lint, dog hairs, cat hairs out of it. I love wearing these leggings at home and they're very, very comfortable. They fit amazingly and then you can also just pat off the dog hair and be out the door. This is the kind of leggings that you will see me in at Target at like nine o'clock at night. Yeah, this is the one. And I'm just patting off the dog hair before I get into the car. Absolutely love this fabric. And if you're like me and you have dogs and you wanna be able to not look like you've actually slept on the floor, definitely recommend these. I also got another pair of sweatpants which I'm actually wearing right now. These are the waffle fabric. I got a hoodie and this like waffle texture a couple of hauls back and I absolutely loved it so much that I needed, I needed a pair of sweatpants in this as well. And these are very nice, almost a little like, they have like pockets on the sides, very, very comfortable and this waffle texture is just so incredibly comfortable. It's not too cool, not too warm. Absolutely love it. And again, this looks cool outside of the house as well. And then we have the high weights, the pants with the drawstring and the cloudful fabric. This is so soft and airy. It's such a wonderful fabric. And this also is one of those pants that is so comfortable to wear at home, but also definitely can be worn outside. This is a soft and breathable fabric that's stretchy on all sides. It's the perfect kind of pant if you're like me working from home and also walking your dogs or just being at the gym if you're that kind of girly. Now we come into some like casual, almost dressy pants. There is absolutely perfect for any kind of occasion. If I was still working in office, this is what I been, would be wearing. They're extremely comfortable, but they look, they feel like a sweat pant, but look like a dress pant absolutely the kind of pant that I would be wearing to the office. So smart looking, so comfortable, come in so many different models, so many different colors. I will link the two that I'm showing you down below. I am so impressed with the different kinds of comfortable but smart looking pants that Halora has. If you're the kind of person that has to dress up a little bit for work, I recommend this. But now we have to talk about my absolute favorite piece. This is an overall, it is in super comfortable. It is in orange. It has the buttons. I look like a grown up cabbage patch kid like doll and I'm absolutely all about it. I think this looks incredibly good. I even poloed like all of my friends wearing this being like, look at what I'm wearing. It's so amazing. I will live in this. Come spring, I will live in this. I put a top on. Oh, it is so cool and so comfortable. One of those things that you could wear gardening or to the first date absolutely blown away. So if you were looking to update your wardrobe for office wear or just for springtime or to get that wonderful overall, you can use my code Angeli99 and you get 20% off at Halara. I have been enjoying my pieces so much. My wardrobe is super happy to have these. It's just something that I've been wearing at home, out and about, walking the dogs to Target and that overall, all spring all spring. I'm so excited about it. So thank you again, Halara, for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. I'm just so excited with my pieces. Don't forget to check them out down below in the description box. Also, quick reminder, if you're a member of my channel, my member exclusive lives chat, like the Zoom call that we do every month, where we sit down and we chat about life, we chat about makeup, we just chat as friends. That is going to be 
tonight. I did put up some info in the community tab. This is for my members here on my channel that are tier two or tier three. If you want to see more of that, I will leave a link down in the description box. If you want to be part of it, it's definitely not too late. It is happening today. When you are a member tier two or tier three, you can go back to the community tab and all the information will be there, how to join and all of that, what Zoom room we are in. I always look forward to my Zoom calls with my members and I'm so excited to be chatting with you again. First one of 2024, woohoo! I did actually film this look. I filmed another look with the Twilight collection because you seem to really want that. So I filmed a second look and I will put that as soon as I can on like as a short somewhere. It's been really easy for me to film a couple of extra shorts while I'm getting ready. So do expect that. And if you want to see more content from me, I'm going to have that either here on YouTube or on Instagram, on TikTok. But if you hate that, if you just love long form content, I'm still doing that here on YouTube. I'm just not able to do as many as I used to because I cannot like, I told someone in the comments, I cannot have another year of me working seven days a week, 14 hours a day. It's just not possible. I'm literally turning 40 in a couple of days. I just, 40 need to be the, the, the decade of me like getting proper sleep. <laughs> catching up with reading. Oh, and I did get the Colourpop PR. Actually, after last week's video, I was saying how much I wanted to buy the collection, how much I wanted to try it, because I was actually one of those people that thought the collection looked beautiful from the get-go, and like, I was excited. Colourpop actually did reach out to me. They activated my code again, so you can use my code and get some money off when you're ordering at Colourpop. They did also tell me that the Twilight is restocking, and you can sign up for uh, notifications on restocking on the website. You can also send a text. I will put that info here on the screen. If you're in the US, you can send Bella to the number that's here on the screen and you will get a notification when this, it's being restocked basically. And I did get this in PR. They sent me a mail and they were like, hey, your code is reactivated. And also we found the PR package in the back. Quinky dink, and we will send it over. So I did have a video on Wednesday where I was trying that collection out in case you were interested. But let me scoochy scoochy. <laughs> We can talk about the news. Also, there's a new trend on TikTok that is a mob wife aesthetics. I feel like I am embracing that today. I feel very Italian mobster wife <laughs> aesthetic with my leopard. <laughs> Let me live. <laughs> Let's start talking about the new palette from Nomad that we only had a little bit of a sneak peek of last week. Well, I knew what it was, but it was released this week. It is available now. You can use a code and you can get some money off. You don't, if, you, if you don't want to use my code, use somebody's code and get some money off. That's the most important thing. But if you are using my codes or if you are using my affiliated links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It really does help out. And this palette is now available. I did do a couple of shorts, both here on YouTube, but also on my other platforms, showing some small showing them in different lighting so that you can see the multi-chrome effect going on and also showing you a tutorial of this. I think the quality of this palette is really, really good. I will say this, something about this wasn't my favorite color story, even though I will say that purple look that I did was fire. I don't know why I feel that way. It could be that the colors are a little bit more on the muted side. I don't know. I don't know. The shimmers though, incredible. The, I, the quality, incredible. So the color story wasn't my favorite. I feel like a lot of people always, when we talk about like our favorite palettes of the year, so many people mention Nomad palettes and I feel like they have cracked the code of a color story. I mean, again, I'm a happy clown. I love really like bright, punchy color, but not everybody does that. And they've really cracked the code of how to make more approachable colorful palettes that are a little bit more on the muted side. So if you were wanting to dip your toes in the color, I definitely think you should check out Nomad. Again, quality, absolutely beautiful. We also need to talk about this. I told you, manage your expectations when it comes to Pat McGrath. She showed a the front of something that I was like, I think this is a quad and it is red and blue. And the inside is still pink, golden, like a purpley shimmer. What? Pat, I, I need the person that's designing packaging to also be on the makeup designer team. I need that person to be like whoop, swooped up with the, like the product development team and listen, hear him out, hear the guy out uh, or the girl or they, I stood like, they have obviously they have ideas and i feel like we all need to come together just sit by the bonfire and just talk it out because clearly you're pulling in two different directions and i don't understand why the quad is so bland and so typical pat mcgrath when the packaging is so bold and edgy this could have been a red matte a black matte a gold and a blue metallic that would have been killer. That would have been so cool. Why wasn't it that? Why wasn't it that? Why was it this? 
colors of the lipstick look beautiful though the highlighter looks stunning i think pat mcgrath makes amazing highlighters i just i'm very confused also i did hear whispers in the corridors that two or three of these shades in the quad are just existing shades that were in the holiday palettes make it make sense. I feel like Kim Kardashian has been hinting that she's releasing or re-releasing her makeup line for a really long time. There was a bunch of lawsuits and there was like a copyright, there was so many things going on, but now she's re-releasing her makeup under her line Skin and it is launching on the 26th and if you are interested it is brown. It is so brown and I will say just looking at this I'm like what was the point but looking at the lipstick swatches, let me put those up, that actually looks very intriguing and I could be about trying something like that. The eyeshadow palette is an absolute snooze fest. I'm not trying that. I feel like she's trying to do something that other brands have already done more successfully and with better packaging. I don't know the, the price of this or anything, but let's look at the, like the, the liners, the lip liners. I saw these and then I saw the swatches on skin. I will even put my story up here. What was the point? I understand having a bunch of different undertones and different... I actually think that that is a great idea. That's what Jaclyn Hill was trying to do with her lipsticks before people literally found like anything that's under the sun that's not supposed to be a lipsticks in them. But this is too similar. And it is that meme. There is no difference between these colors or there's not enough difference between these colors. And I just feel like this is a confusing... If these are not as similar in real life as they look in this picture, why is this the picture that we chose to market them with? This is not a good swatch, but you can see any, they all look the same. It's so confusing. For me, this is a no-go. Actually, I might pick up a lipstick and a lip liner just to try it out. But honestly, this is just a very, a little confusing. And speaking of ColourPop, ColourPop is coming up with their Valentine's um, release. And I will say ColourPop's Valentine's releases are usually pretty good. Their palette that they released last year, it was in the top in when I was ranking all, if you haven't watched that video yet, I did a video where I was ranking all of the palettes that I tried last year. It was a hundred plus palettes and the palette, like the Valentine's palette from last year ranked pretty high. I thought it was a very nice palette. So I'm excited to see that they're doing another Valentine's collection for this year. And it seems like they're doing their cream blushes that I actually did not like in the heart shaped compact. Also makes sense. They had the heart shaped compact for last year and they had blushes and highlighters in them. And this year they're doing cream blushes makes total sense because in between that collection and now they did release some cream blushes that makes sense to me at least doesn't mean that I want it but it makes sense there are some ultra glossy lips I do like the ultra glossy lips over the luxe lip glosses so I'm excited that it's that yelly match eyeshadows again I like that formula as well and then the eyeshadow palette is one of my absolute favorite color combos which is Pink and red, do not take a shot every time I say I love pink and red. You will be blackout drunk and I do, I take no responsibility. <laughs> That's on you. But they're also throwing in a row of like more warm orange. And this is when I'm like so excited, so intrigued. I think this looks great. I don't know if I'm getting this in PR or not. Like I said, my code has been activated again if you want to save some money. But if I don't get this in PR, I will be purchasing it myself. It is available as you're watching this. So if I didn't get it in PR by Saturday, is that a good, is that a good timeline? I'll just buy it myself and I will do something because I loved the Valentine's palette from last year and there's no way I'm missing this one. Speaking of Valentine's palettes, this new one from Bella Beauté Bar is called the Dead Roses palette. This one is launching on January 26th and I'm fairly sure that this is launching exactly on the same day as the Deandra Nicole palette that they're doing. They're doing a collab palette. I'll put that up here as well so that you can see. You can use my code and you can get some money off. You don't have to use my code. Use somebody's code and get some money off if you are buying from a place that has a code. It will usually mount up to being a little bit of a discount or maybe like free shipping or something like that. We all want that. I will say I am a little bit surprised that they're releasing another release at the same time as a collab palette because I feel like that's a little bit like almost like you're competing with a collab. But also, I mean, as the consumer, it gives you more options to choose from. And also it makes it easier for you to save on shipping in case you wanted to order both of them at the same time. But usually Bella Beauté Bar palettes are not super affordable, like they're great quality love the Bella Beauté bar formula. You're definitely getting like bang for your buck, but also like buying both of them might end up being a little pricey, but 
You're gonna have to let me know what you think about this. I did get tracking from Bella Beauté Bar and if it's one of the palettes, I will end up buying the other one because I will definitely want myself to own both of these because I love this brand and I love their formula. But I also will say that's a really that's a start 2024 to release two palettes, full-size palettes at the same time. And I really do hope that we have a little bit of a more chill 2024 than we had in 2023 because it was a little crazy, even for me as a makeup reviewer, to keep up with all the releases. Another Valentine's release, and this one is actually, this is from Charlotte Tilbury. She's releasing new lipsticks. It is the um, Hollywood Beauty Icon lipsticks. That's what she's calling them. I think some of them is in her glowy formula and some of them is in her matte formula. They're all supposed to be like different variations of reds and pinks that she's like adding to the collection. They do have pink and red packaging as well that I think looks absolutely beautiful. And these are launching on my birthday, January, 23rd. I am turning 40 next Tuesday, which is a little crazy. I will no longer be in my 30s. I will be a 40 year old lady and I'm perfectly fine with that. My 30s was definitely my hustle years and I'm making my 40s take a chill pill decade. That's going to be the decade of like, don't need to do it all. It is okay to take a chill pill. So that is what I'm, um, I'm like, I don't want to say manifesting because I don't believe in manifesting, but it's what I'm telling myself that my 40s is gonna be. And I think I will be picking up one or two of these. When I saw swatches of them, one seems to be a really nice orangey red. And I do like that a lot. And they're also gonna be matching lip liner. So I think like as a gift from me to me, I'll pick one of these up for myself. Let's talk about some more affordable brands. Moira is releasing 10 new shades of their Love Heat Cream blushes. These are available now. And I have not tried this formula. Someone told me that it reminded them of the Tower 28 blush formula that I like but don't love. Let me know if you think that too because I feel like with the Tower 28, if you use a very sheer layer with your brush, which I did in a short where I was using that new red blush, it looks really beautiful. But with the lighter colors, if you want to build up color, I just feel like it ends up being a little smeary and it never dries down. And I need my cream products to dry down at least a little bit. So maybe if this is the same, I can try one of the darker colors and maybe I like it the way that I like the Tower 28 darker color because I can use less. I don't know, let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear your thoughts if you tried out this formula but it is available and I will link it down below together, of course, everything else I'm talking about. I saw this release and I'm like, I did not know that they were still available. <laughs> this is Morphe 2. Like, right, you were thinking like me. You're like, wow, I forgot they existed. This is a Sun and Done, which is a great name. Go you, Morphe. Smooth Gliding Bronzer Stick. They are releasing it in five different shades. Honestly, I don't hate this at all. It's the creamy, non-greasy, lightweight formula. Long lasting, no cake increasing or fading. I just forgot this brand existed. And I'm starting to be like, where does this brand fit in? My Target has this brand. So is this the like affordable drugstore version that's like available in some places, but also Morphe is affordable. But like Morphe 2, I find at Target and Morphe I find at Ulta. Is that the difference? Does Ulta also have Morphe 2? I should be doing some research about this. Clearly I should have done it before this video, but I'm like, what do you like? Do you feel like this brand is like, does it actually like make sense right now? Because people are not even excited about the main brand Morphe. Do you really need to be pushing Morphe too? Which by the way, was an awful name to begin with. I also saw some new releases over at Ulta from Flower Beauty and Winky Lugs. And I did actually buy one of these blushes from Fl Flower Beauty. I want to do like a drugstore video next week. So I have a couple of things that I want to try out. Winky Lugs is releasing like a liquid bronzer and a liquid blush. And Flower Beauty is releasing a liquid blush as well. The Winky Lugs ones are $19 each. I feel like, is that even drugstore anymore? I just feel like they're a drugstore because I see them in the drugstore aisle over at Ulta and I see them at Target and they usually like now I'm like confusing myself do you feel like this is the drugstore is really getting up there and Flower Beauty I did buy one of these blushes I actually did not like the squeezy tube highlighters from Flower Beauty and I wanted to give the blushes a chance and see if I like them so I did buy one of these and I will be trying them out I think all of this is available at Ulta right now and I will link it down below oh I did not see this I totally missed it. okay let me put this one up it seems like Flower Beauty is releasing even more stuff because now I remember I did see those lip glosses but I didn't buy those I bought something else instead but there are some lip glosses there are some eye 
cream and chrome eyeliner duos. I didn't like the color, so I didn't buy any of those. And then there is an under eye corrector, which I rarely use an under eye corrector. And if I do, I do have one that I really like. And the crayon form made me a little bit like, I don't know if that's going to be great for my very like delicate under eyes. So I did not pick that up, but yeah, there are more things from Flower Beauty. And now that I think of it, I'm like, oh yeah, I did see this at Ulta. I totally forgot. Another thing that I saw at Ulta are those new things from LA Girl. And I will say there is a blush and a bronzer and it's in one shade each. So it is one shade of bronzer and that one already sold out. And I'm like, are we like, even in 2024, are we releasing one bronzer? It was just very, very confusing, but there is so many things that are releasing from LA Girl. There are blushes, bronzer, loose setting powder, eyeshadow palette, four different eyeshadow palettes, but the bronzer could only get one shade. Okay. Literally, there are so many different things from LA Girl. I feel like it's one of those brands that I've tried a couple of things from them, and some of them have been really, really great, and some of them have been like... No, and I also really don't like their packaging, but that's that's me being petty and that's also me being a little packaging snobby. I just, for me to keep something in my collection, I need to love all of it. And I just feel like this doesn't look like something I would like. It's five different eyeshadow palettes, five different eyeshadow palettes and one bronzer. Okay, let's talk about something bougie then. Dior is releasing new glow for 2024. It is a glow maximizer highlighter and a uh, forever glow star filter. I think one of them is one of those like almost like the Hollywood flawless filter. Now even the luxury brands are like, listen, I can get on board with this. It is in 10 different shades. It is an illuminating fluid that enhances the complexion, blah, 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 blah. It is, yeah, wow. It is a complexion makeup product and a treatment. Oh, I did not see that from before. That is interesting though. But you can apply it by itself or mix it with your foundation for a little bit of glow. It is exactly how I would describe the Hollywood Flawless Finish from Shell Tilbury or even the Elf Dupe. Although I did not love the Elf Dupe as much as the Shell Tilbury one because I thought it was a little bit tacky on my skin. And then the highlighter just seems to be a liquid highlighter. Yeah, dresses the complexion with a spectacular light and radiance. Ooh, who's ever doing copy for this? that mm, you're on fire. Multiple use, illuminator, blush, bronzer, even a veil of light for the eyelids. Okay, so it's a, like a multifunctioning product, but like, what do you mean bronzer? For whom? Okay, well, you do you. Didi Signature is coming out with a new palette as well. This is the Taste of Guava Eyeshadow Quad. This is launching on January 25th, which is then next Thursday. You can use the code and get some money off. I like this quad a lot. It is a pink, a green, and then a pink and a green uh, shimmer. And the green is like a light minty green with like a almost teal purple shift. That looks really yummy to me. I love a nice quad. So I think that this one looks really, really cute. I don't know how much of this is going to be. I don't see a price here, but DD Signature does have a couple of quads from before, so I'm guessing this is going to be around the same price. Sometimes products get so hyped that every brand under the sun wants to make their version of it. And I feel like that product from Drunk Elephant, the bronze drops, bron Bron bronzy drop? Bron the bron you know what I'm talking about. You, you know what I'm talking about. The bronze drops. They were so popular on TikTok that I feel like so many brands, affordable, expensive, they're gonna try and do their own version of it. And now it seems like Glow Recipe is doing it. This is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamon. Si cinnamon? Cinnamon. I love cinnamon. <laughs> Niacinamide Hue Drops Tinted Serum. And it seems like there is a creator that got to try it a little bit beforehand. It looks really beautiful. And the post here says that this is the shade Sun Glow. Not sure if other shades will be launching, but honestly, a bronzer drop in this kind of niacinamide serum that was so, like, they're just taking their viral product and merging it with a viral ID, and they're just like, Listen, so this is gonna be a really glowy, I have this nice cinema serum, it's very glowy, especially if you don't have dry skin like me, glowy serum that works before makeup and now they're gonna have a bronzer version. I think it's smart. And I, I even talked about that in my predictions that I had on Monday, that you're going to be able to see a lot of brands see what's been popular and just try to do their own version. Not necessarily a dupe, but like, oh, we can do that too. I really did not think that we were going to see more of these eyeshadow crayons and a double-sided with a little sponge poof on it. That's very 
early 2000s for me and that's like one of those makeup trends sometimes it's fun when trends come back like right now the adidas sambas are so popular and i remember being a teenager owning that and thinking that i was the sh like i was the sizzle like i was it i was definitely it and now they're back and super popular and i'm like oh well that's cute it's a nice shoe why not but the makeup the poof the with the little eyeshadow I don't, I don't, who was asking for that to come back? Like, is that the makeup thing we need a revival on? Because I, I feel like we kind of agreed last time that it wasn't really that useful. And yeah, this one is from uh, Kasha Beauty and it is the Wink Dazzle Eyeshadow and Glitter Multi-Stick. It's not for me. All the colors are extremely light and neutral. I understand who this is for. Honestly, I think that like, the, I have friends like Samantha March, if she were to try this, she would probably love it. Like she would travel with it. And I think that that is so fascinating. I honestly would love for her to try it and see if it's good quality because I know how much she loves those rare beauty um, eyeshadow sticks. I think she even brought one last time she was here visiting me. Oh, spoiler, she's probably coming here again visiting me. So I think that there are people out there that's gonna look at this and be like, oh my God, this is exactly what I want. I'm just a little bit worried about that applicator because I feel like you would have had to done some real good improvements for that to work this time around because it really wasn't that good last time. Floris's has dropped their Nomadic Glam collection. I will link it down below in case you're interested. They usually do really pretty packaging and really, I feel like really nice formulas. I have a couple of things from them that I still use and really, really enjoy. I think that cheek palette looks really beautiful. Or is it like an all-in-one palette maybe now that I'm looking at it because it has a blue in it. So I'm guessing that's one of those like all in one palettes because they've had those from before that's like an eyeshadow uh, and a cheek palette honestly again i think there are people that are going to look at this and they're going to be like oh this is exactly what i want i like the outer packaging a lot like the outer packaging it almost looks like like i I'm, i don't think it's leather but it almost looks a little bit like that and i think that that's probably the cutest packaging that they have done that's like appealing to me i'm not much about the the bling and the glitter and the encrusted jewel bedazzle thing that's not my journey but this with the like the leather look on the outside that looks really aesthetic to me and their blushes are great i saw this release and i was like wait is it april 1st already Time flies when you're having fun. So this is a limited edition release between Birds, Bees, and Hidden Valley Ranch. Are we okay? I mean, as like, as a society. Like, are we okay? Are we good? Like, do, we, do you want me to call someone? Because like, I can call someone. These are in four different sh shades, scents, flavors. Oh. I mean, Americans love ranch. I actually once got told off by an American when I was working as a waitress in Sweden because we didn't have ranch. I'm like, you're in Sweden. We don't do ranch. I'm sorry. I don't want to tell you like, what do you want? Tzatziki? I can do tzatziki. We do not do ranch. So this is buffalo sauce, crunchy celery, fresh carrot, and hidden valley ranch. So it's just celery balm. Is this real? Is this real? Ranch Dippers Lip Balm 4-Pack is limited edition flavor collab that ranch fans have been dreaming of. Have you? I'm not judging, I'm just asking. Have you? Have you really been dreaming about ranch lip balm? Because like, maybe I am judging you. Just a little bit. I might be judging you a little bit. It seems to be a real thing. Uh, I'm guessing this is probably sold out because people are absolute maniacs when it comes to things like this, but... You couldn't pay me to do a ranch lip balm on my lips. Ugh. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is actually that the Australian, let's be honest, dupe brand. This is the <laughs> Makeup Revolution 2018 of Australia. MCO, I don't know if you say it like that, Beauty is coming to the US. This is literally a brand that just dupes other things. They have dupes for the Laneige lip balm. They have dupes for the drunk elephant thing I was talking about. They have dupes for Charlotte Tilbury. They have dupes for Glossier. They have dupes for so many different things. And I think one of the reasons why they've been doing really good in Australia is that some of these brands are really hard to get a hold of in Australia and also really expensive to get a hold of in Australia. So getting a dupe is honestly preferable and also it seems like people seem to agree that they're actually doing good quality things but it's going to be really interesting to see 
how this is being received in the US. Because I feel for a really long time there, people were literally hating on Makeup Revolution for doing dupes. And now we seem to be loving Elf for doing dupes. And I'm just like, so how are we gonna feel about this one? Because I mean, they're not only duping, they're duping the packaging and everything. Um, so yeah. I feel like this is borderline like copycat. Like we're not even doing dupes. We're not even doing inspired by. It is copycat vibes. Um, but it's affordable and it's coming soon. And is this gonna be available? Oh my God. The full line will be available mid-February online and inside 1800 plus Kroger stores. Okay. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts about this, honestly. So before we end the video, I just want to have a little giveaway to celebrate that I've done 300 episodes of new makeup releases. I've been on YouTube for eight and a half years, nine years. Where am I? I don't even know. Time flies when you're having fun, but I've been here for a really long time and I've been doing this series for years and years and years. And thank you so much for still keeping this going and for being here and just being so smart and so funny and so supportive. It does not go unnoticed in any way, shape or form. And I wanted to do a little giveaway. The giveaway, I asked you what you wanted to see in the giveaway and so many people were saying cinch 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 so i'm gonna do cinch <laughs> i'm gonna give away um i'm guessing the full line i'm gonna give away a full line of cinch brushes including the sponge and the poof i do have them here at home and i will ship them and i will also be including because i have an extra copy of the simply posh the aurora lights palette that sold out because they sent me two of them so i will be including that palette in the giveaway package as well and i do have a bunch of other things here and whatever i can fit into the package i will slit it down as well so there will be a couple of extras as well in the giveaway package all you have to do is enter via the link that's going to be in the pinned comment down below there's going to be a little survey to fill out it's, it's super easy basically it's just like what's your name what's your address where can i contact you and i will only use that information for this giveaway i will not save it in any way shape or form as soon as the giveaway is done i will contact you via the mail that you gave there so make sure that you're giving me the correct mail you do need to be subscribed to my channel to be able to enter this giveaway and you also need to have visible like public subscription so that i can actually see that you are subscribed to my channel i will also leave in the pinned comment a link to where you can make sure that they are that if you don't want to have that for forever you only have to have it when the giveaway is ending i will put all the info in the, the pinned comment down below of like when it's ending and all the links and all of that and then you can just turn it on afterwards i just need to see that you're subscribed because i do want to give my prize to someone that is actually subscribed and if you aren't subscribed this is your time to do it definitely and if you wanted to check out my membership as well that's down below and also the trip that i am planning guys i am so excited the results like the overwhelming interest of you to actually be hanging out with me and creating some memories together i am blown away i will be doing another video talking about that very soon as well so Thank you so much for that. The survey is still open until Sunday. And I will also leave that down below in the description box in case you are interested. It is, of course, totally optional. And I'm just, thank you. Thank you for being so super sweet. And don't forget to check in on the live later today if you are a member. Again, that info is also down below. Thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. And I hope you're having a great Friday, a great weekend, and I will see you soon again. Bye.